Look, it's uh, a pleasure uh, for me to be providing uh, the opening remarks to this important panel on the fourth uh, industrial revolution. As many uh, of you in the room uh, would know, uh, Industry 4.0 is driven by four major disruptions. Big data, uh, the rapid rise of data volumes, advanced analytics, uh, improving product development, uh, human-machine interfaces such as uh, augmented reality and digital uh, to physical transfer such as an advanced robotics and 3D printing. Uh, government and business, uh, government and business's ability to embrace and facilitate Industry 4.0 technologies will drive efficiencies and boost productivity which ultimately drives economic growth and improvements in living standards. And uh, even more important than that, if we want to uh, be competitive and be able to participate in uh, the future economy, then we need to ensure that we really uh, remain at that global uh, leading uh, competitive edge. But like uh, any major disruption, this transition needs to be carefully managed to ensure displacement is minimized and the benefits are maximized. And this is really the core issue that this session will explore today. Uh, Industry 4.0 was a central theme of Germany's recent G20 presidency, and it is also, of course, a significant focus area of the Australia-Germany Advisory Group, uh, of which uh, I'm proud to uh, be the co-chair, as you would have heard by now. Uh, I think it's now relatively well known that through the Australia-Germany Advisory Group, we took stock of our bilateral relationship uh, and developed 59 practical recommendations on how we could boost our trade and investment relationship, our strategic engagement, our cooperation on research, science and innovation, people-to-people uh, -people links and uh, much more. And you know, over the last uh, year or so, people often ask me, well, why is it 59 recommendations? Couldn't you make it 60? And uh, if only I had come up earlier with this idea that we could bring Nina here, we would have made it 60. <laughs> But since we've uh, released uh, those 59 recommendations uh, back in um, November 2015, two years ago now, uh, a lot of work has been done to implement them, including and in particular uh, in relation to the topic we're talking about here today. Uh, one of the 59 recommendations was the establishment of a Prime Minister's Industry 4.0 Task Force, which is uh, very ably chaired uh, by Siemens' uh, Jeff Connolly. Uh, to enhance collaboration between Australian and German industry leaders in setting global standards for the next phase of advanced manufacturing. The task force was established to connect Australian industry to German industrial leaders and initiate a collaborative approach in the development of global Industry 4.0 standards. Uh, in April this year, uh, the Prime Minister's Industry 4.0 task force signed, as uh, has been mentioned, a cooperation agreement with platform Industry 4.0. Um, uh, this agreement uh, further cements uh, cooperation and information sharing between Australia and Germany in the, in the area of Industry 4.0, including the development of global Industry 4.0 standards. Uh, platform Industry 4.0 and the task force have agreed to cooperate across five work streams representing key challenges in the transition to Industry 4.0, reference architectures, standards and norms, support for small and medium-sized enterprises, uh, Industry 4.0 test beds, uh, security of network systems, and work education and training. Uh, this cooperative work will be supported by government, industry, and standards and research organizations within both our countries, uh, with the Advanced Manufacturing Growth Center coordinating work here in Australia. Uh, through the Australia-Germany Advisory Group's implementation, we have also significantly strengthened cooperation in science and research more generally. Uh, Germany and Australia, of course, share a long-standing relationship in science, research and education uh, cooperation going back as far as 1976 when the Australia-Germany Treaty on Science and Technology Cooperation was first signed. Uh, but as a result of the work of the Australia-Germany Advisory Group and our collaboration on Industry 4.0, uh, we are taking that cooperation to a whole new level. The Australian Government understands that facilitating investment in technologies and industry collaboration is critical 
to develop our digital economy here in Australia and to ensure that our economy can continue to be globally competitive. I'm truly encouraged uh, to see industry and academia collaborating, collaborating uh, to drive forward Australia's digital economy. As a nation, our focus should be on driving productivity in existing industries and building our competitive strengths in new ones, all using techno te uh, digital technologies to our advantage. Uh, new initiatives are now in place to increase academic and student exchanges between Germany and Australia, including through the establishment of bilateral research groups with complementary strengths. B but to do that, we first need to ensure that students who will be our workforce of the future have access to the best digital tools and can learn the right skills that will be relevant in the future. And on Friday, in uh, that context, uh, I had the great opportunity, along with my good friend uh, and valued uh, senior colleague, uh, Minister Cash, uh, to join Siemens uh, at the University of Western Australia to launch their partnership through an industrial software grant to prepare University of WI students and researchers to be Industry 4.0 ready. As a government, we very much welcome the contribution, the very substantial contribution Siemens has made uh, across Australia so far uh, with a commercial value of about $1 billion. Uh, our Acting Minister for Industry, Innovation and Science also announced the government's test lab funding, which I'm sure uh, Michaelia will speak about some more in her uh, introductory remarks today.